look at this. Stella and Simba are wearing a boa together. Isn't that cute? They're sharing a boa. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. I'd like to give a shout out to Abril and C.R. Barboni. Thank you so much for your patronage this month and your generous support. I'm here with the cats and they're all sitting in their scratch and roll. So here is Simba. He's in a scratch and roll. And there's Stella. She's sitting in a scratch and roll. Here's Boo. He's sitting in a scratch and roll. And there's Splash. He's almost sitting in his scratch and roll. So my question is, why do cats like scratch and rolls so much? These cats love these scratch and rolls. Look, they are like easy chairs for cats. They love them. But why do they love them so much? Simba, can you tell us why you like your scratch and roll so much? You say because it's comfortable? Simba says he likes it because it's comfortable. Boo, can you tell us why you like your scratch and roll so much? Boo says it reminds him of being outside, but in a good way, not a bad way. Stella, can you tell us why you like your scratch and roll so much? Stella says it's not a scratch and roll, it's her throne. Okay. Splash, can you tell us why you like your scratch and roll so much?
Splash you with some crunchies? Hello, Splashy. Want some crunchies? Splash, you want some crunchies? Splash, you want some crunchies? Do you? Come here, give me a pet. Come here, Splash. Give me a pet. You want some crunchies? Simba, you want some crunchies? Simba says he'll give me a pet. He'll give me a pet. See, Splash is the good boy because he uses the scratching post to scratch on. And Simba just goes past it and uses the sofa. It's about 10.30 p.m. right now. Look at this. Stella and Simba are wearing a boa together. Isn't that cute? They're sharing a boa. They love it. Like mother, like son. Stella, you're so pretty. You're so pretty in your boa. Simba, you like wearing the boa? Simba says he wants some catnip. Okay, I'll give you guys some catnip. Okay. This is what happens when I put catnip out for the cats. All they want to do is eat it. I put some on Boo's back. Okay, is he going to roll around on it? So this is what they do. They just want to eat it. They don't want to play with it. They just want to eat it. I just give him some more catnip. This time I squashed it up in my fingers just in case maybe it wasn't like aromatic enough. Maybe it wasn't activated and they're doing the same thing. All they want to do is they just want to eat it. Boo's rubbing around on it a little bit, but I don't know what has happened to them. I hope they're not getting immune to it. Hello Simba, it is 9.30 a.m. and I am going out for the day and the cats are going to be on their own all day so I've set their automatic feeders for them. They had some crunchies in their automatic feeders this morning, then I gave them breakfast which they only ate half of so that's still downstairs. They can pick on that if they want it. Um, they're going to have raw food in their feeders for dinner. There's crunchies in the feeders for tomorrow morning. I should be back, but just in case I stay overnight, then they will have breakfast. Okay, Simba, you're going to be a good boy today. Make sure there's no bugs in the house, okay? What I've done here is I've put some tissue paper out for them. I've been wrapping some Christmas presents recently, and every time I do, they want to sit on the tissue paper. So I decided I'll give them some that they can play with or sit on while I'm uh, out of the house today. Here's Boo. He's all ready to do his job. He's stationed by the window so he can look out and make sure there are no strange animals or people in the yard. Right, Boo? Here's Splash. He's in the dining room. He's under the table. And he's making sure that none of the other cats attack the furniture. And here's Stella. She's downstairs. Stella's job is to keep the peace and make sure everyone minds their manners. Right, Stella? Yeah. It's about 11 p.m. I'm just about to go to bed and sit was on top of the armoire. He's hanging out near the penthouse. It was so cute how he was laying, so I put the I put the camera on and of course he just picked his head up and he now he's moving around. It 
It is 9.35 a.m. And there's Ditto. I don't know where he's been. It has been raining um, for the past 24 hours. Actually, probably the past 36 hours. There's Hydrox. I just gave him two scoops of homemade raw food. And when I looked outside to see if he had eaten it, then I noticed that Ditto showed up. And um, so now I'm going to give them some canned food. And here's Boo. Boo's been watching them through the door. He's really interested. And Boo did not eat his food, so maybe I'll just give them Boo's food also. Unless someone else ate it. Here's Boo's food. That chunk of food is some canned food that I used to try to bribe him to eat, and it looks like someone else ate his food. I just gave them a can of food. I split a six ounce can of food between the two of them. Hydrox is eating it, and Ditto's just rubbing himself on the step. With all the rain, so many of the leaves that were left on the trees have fallen now. The trees were so spectacular over the past several days, like so much color. They just looked amazing. And then I looked out today and like the trees are half bare now, which is always kind of sad. We're definitely rounding the corner into winter. There are some years when Thanksgiving arrives, there's still plenty of leaves on the trees but this is not going to be one of those years. Looks like Hydrox is enjoying his food and hopefully Ditto will eat some more. There is dry food in the feeder, so they do have food. Um, the forecast is for rain all day today and all day tomorrow. So usually when there's rain on the forecast, the cats like to eat a lot of food. I'm here with the cats. There's Splash, and Stella, and Simba, and Boo, and it is mail time. Let's see what the cats got. They got an envelope here. Let's see what's in it. We got a glass and lens wipe and this is from Carlos DeLuca. Thank you very much Carlos. And here's another envelope. And we got some bandages. Thank you very much Carlos. Here's another envelope. And it looks like we have some post-it notes. Thank you very much, Carlos. Here's another envelope. And it's another glass and lens wipe. Guess who it's from? And here's another envelope. And here's another glass and lens wipe. Thank you very much, Carlos. And another glass and lens wipe. Carlos likes to keep the post office very busy. These are a lot of envelopes to uh, write on. You know, the address and the return address. That's a lot of writing. And look what it is. It's another glass and lens wipe. Thank you very much, Carlos. All of my glass and lenses are going to be very, very clean. And here's another glass and lens wipe. And here's another glass and lens wipe. I wonder what this is. Do you think it's a glass and lens wipe? It's some post-it notes. Thank you, Carlos. And here's another glass and lens wipe. It's about 11 p.m. right now and the cats are having crunchies. There's Boo, Simba, and Stella. And there's Splash. So it's four cats in a row. 
eating their crunchies. Thank you for watching this Lucky Pearls video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.